Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one very important concept related to Hadoop distributed file system. And specially this concept is important if you are using Amazon S3 or simple storage service as HDFS. Okay, nowadays many companies use S3 as data lake or HDFS and Amazon EMR as compute cluster to run their PySpark job or other ETL workloads, right? So this particular concept is surely going to help you to understand the architecture or the files in better way. So specially I am going to discuss today about empty file with underscore dollar folder and again dollar. This kind of suffix in Amazon S3 bucket. What is its significance? Why these are created? Okay. If we delete this kind of empty files, is there any impact in our pipeline? Related to this, I am going to cover in this video. Okay. So for this discussion purpose, I have already started one cluster, my cluster. And I have given all TCP as inbound rule for all IPv4, right? And here I will just copy the public DNS and I will just enter in this cluster using SSH. Okay. Already multiple times I have covered how to do that. So I'm just going a little bit fast here. So here we have entered in our cluster with the default username Hadoop. Okay. Now here what I have done, you can see that here I have created one particular bucket having the name event driven testing. Any bucket name you can basically give for the matter of fact. For this demo, I just have given this kind of name. Okay. And another bucket is there where I have uploaded two CSV files, setosa.csv and varsicolor.csv. Okay. You can basically do this kind of experiment with any file, image file, text file, video file, whatever, based on your wish. Okay. Right. And now let's see the importance of the underscore dollar folder dollar file. Okay. What is the importance of that empty file? Okay. So the underscore dollar folder dollar file is basically a placeholder. Okay. Very, very important. Try to understand that is Apache Hadoop creates this kind of files that is files with this kind of suffix and the file size is zero byte. Okay. When you use the MKDIR or make directory command to create a folder in S3 bucket. Okay. So what I'm trying to say that whenever you execute MKDIR command in your S3 bucket, then first this kind of empty files with this kind of extension will be created. Okay. And Hadoop does not create the actual folder until you put the first object. Okay. Very, very important. So if you just do MKDIR and try to create a particular folder, then initially you will be having a file with this suffix as zero byte file in your S3. Okay. You will not see actual folder. Once you put your first object in that particular directory or folder, then only the folder will start getting visible. Okay. Now let's see this with practical example. Okay. So what I will do, I am basically executing a make directory command in our bucket, which is basically this one. I will just refresh and show you. Currently you can see nothing is there. And then here I am creating a folder called hello world one. Okay. So let's do that. And here I will just hit enter. Okay. So this comment, what it should do, it should create a directory or folder with the name hello world one inside this particular bucket. So let's see that if I go to my bucket and if I refresh, I will not see any folder. Okay. Only I can see a zero byte file. Okay. And which is having the extension underscore dollar folder dollar. Okay. Actual folder we cannot see. Okay. Now what I have told here. That Hadoop does not create the folder until you put the first object. Okay. So we have not put any object in hello underscore world underscore one folder, right? So that's why it is not visible. Okay. It is just acting like a placeholder for our actual folder. Actual folder will be created only if you are trying to put some object for the first time. Okay. So let's try to do that. So I have shown you, right, that I have created another bucket here with the name this one and I have uploaded some CSV file. So all I will do, I will try to copy one file from here to our this particular folder, whatever we have created. Okay. So Hadoop FSCP and I am copying setosa.csv from this particular bucket to our the event driven testing bucket in the hello world folder, whatever we have created just now. Okay. So as of now. We have not put any object in the hello world folder. 
that's why the folder is not visible only we can see the placeholder right now as soon as i will execute this command what will happen i am trying to put one object for the first time in that particular folder right what we have created using a mkdir command then we can see that here one folder with the name hello world one will start getting visible okay let's see that i will just run this one and i will hit enter and here you will see that it is done if i refresh here see because we tried to put a object first time in our folder what we have created that is hello underscore world underscore one that's why now this time it is created okay if i enter in that here i will see sirosa.csv right no rocket science so i hope you understood that whenever you use mkdir command hadoop don't create the actual folder it just create a placeholder with this kind of suffix a file which is zero byte file okay then when you try to put object for the first time it will create the actual folder that's the simple concept okay i hope you understood it very simple now the next concept which i am going to discuss another very important topic and the question is can i simply delete that underscore dollar folder dollar this kind of file which is having zero byte can i simply delete them and the answer is no you should not delete them okay because if you delete you might face error let me show you one error which you might face if you simply delete this kind of placeholder okay so currently you can see only hello world related placeholder and actual folder is there now what i am trying to do i am basically trying to create another folder hello world 2 okay mkdir command i will execute and i will hit enter okay here let's wait for a couple of seconds and it is created okay so if i go to my bucket and if i refresh here i will see that hello world 2 in this folder we have not put any object yet right just to use the mkdir command that's why the placeholder is created actual folder is not created okay so now you might think that i can simply delete this placeholder okay so here we have executed mkdir command and maybe when you checked in s3 you are seeing that this kind of only placeholder is created suppose by mistake you are deleting this okay so i will just select this one and i will click on delete the placeholder i am deleting okay so i have deleted the placeholder right so delete the placeholder from the console i have deleted that and now what i will do because i have executed mkdir command so i might think that itself is sufficient no need that placeholder file so i deleted that and now what i will do i will try to copy a csv file from the csv storer testing bucket to our this particular folder hello world 2 in the event driven testing bucket okay so i executed mkdir command and now i can think that okay i can execute the copy command in that particular folder all i did in the middle step i deleted the placeholder okay so let's see what is the impact if i just do and hit enter here i will see that no such file or directory okay and this is appearing because i deleted the placeholder so you should not think like this way that this is a zero byte file unnecessarily placeholder is created i can simply delete no it's not like that try to understand what i have written here if you delete the underscore dollar folder dollar files before you put at least one object for the first time then hadoop cannot create the folder okay so although you have executed mkdir but actually you have deleted the placeholder right that's why hadoop will not able to create the actual folder hello world 2 okay and this may result in a no such file or directory error okay so when we are trying to copy the file from another location to this particular folder we are getting no such file or directory why because we have deleted the placeholder right so we should always remember that we should not play with that particular empty file with underscore dollar folder dollar with suffix okay right so if i just run now mkdir here again the placeholder will be created see placeholder is done and now without deleting the placeholder i can execute hadoop fscp from the another bucket to this location then we can see actually hello world 2 this folder will be created okay currently i have not tried to put any object in that hello world 2 folder that's why only placeholder is there actual folder is not there if i just execute hadoop fscp here i will see 
that actual folder will also be getting created okay so it is done if i just refresh you'll see hello world 2 is created and inside that our csv file is there. okay right so i hope you understood the importance of underscore dollar folder dollar file which is having zero byte okay and next time when you see this kind of file then you should understand that basically hadoop tried to create that particular folder and once first time we are trying to put any object then only actual folder will be created or else only the placeholder will be there and we should not play with them otherwise we might get no such file or directory error okay i hope you understood this this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you